वंदे गुरुपद दंदम भक्त बिंद समित श्री चैतन्य प्रभु वंदे नितानंद सहोदित श्री नंदन मनम वंदे राधिका चरण दय गोपीजन समयुक्त बिंदा मनोहर वाछा कल्पतरुश के पास सिंधु भविष्य अचिदानंद पावन भवैष्णवेभ्यो नमो मुकंदरोतिवाचालिरीपातमहंगे परमानंदमाधे पूजिया वै केशव सचिभक्तिपतिदेवी सत्वत्व नमो नम नारायण नमस्कृत नरम जैवनोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास कथो जयो संकीर्तने कृष्ण कथोपदेश गौरीय पात्र प्रकाश नीच सदाक्त गुरु भक्ति युक्त भक्ति प्रमदाक्ष जगोदर ध्येय सदा परिभवग्नमीष्टदोह तीर्थास्पद शिव विरिंचन तम शर वीतातिहम पुनदीपूत वंदे महापुरष ते चरण हृदय यदपल्लवन पचंदमनीछटा विस्फुजीत गुमदूषर्शि पूर्णागरसागर सारूर्ति साराधि कामयी कदा श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभुनीता श्रीवाद्वैत गाधर शिवसादी गौरभक्तविंद श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभुनीता श्रीवाद्वैत गाधर शिवसादी गौरभक्तविंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे आजानुलंबित भुजो कनका बुदा तो संकीर्तन कवितरो कमला विशाम बरो दिज बरो जुगधर्म पालो वंदे जगत प्रिय करो करुणा भतारो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम राम नमा गंगे तब पाद पंकज सुरासुरवंदित दिव्यूपम भुक्ति मुक्ति दिनीम बाबानूपेण सदा नदान गंगा तरंग रमणीय जटाकलाप गौरी निरंतर विभूषिवाग नारायण प्रिय मन गुमदारम वाराणसीपुरपति भज भीषनाथ वागीशुष्य वदने लक्ष्मीजश च वक्षसी यस्ते देश हम भजे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जश्यात्मबुद्धि कुनपे धातुखे 
स्वाधिकलत्रादि शुभम यदि जस्तित्व बुद्धिशाली न कर ही चीज जनेशो विघ्नेशु सैव गोखर जश्यात्म बुद्धि कुनपेति धातु के स्वाधि कलत्रादि शुभम यदि जत्तित्व बुद्धिशाली न कर ही चीज जनेशो विघ्नेशु सैव गोखर गौरी गोष्ठीपति गौरी गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती को स्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपात परमंश जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट एट द टाइम वेन एन अर्थ इज देयर इन साइड यू हरी भजन एनी हाउ इट इज नॉट एट ऑल पॉसिबल टू डू हरी भजन गौड़ी गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती को स्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपात परमहंस जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट वेन एन अर्थ इज देयर इन साइड यू देन एनी हाउ इन एनी कंडीशन That to do Hari Bhajan is not at all possible. In fact, to start Hari Bhajan, it is not at all possible to start Hari Bhajan even. Even to start Hari Bhajan is not possible when Anarth is there. And Shri Man Mahaprabhu, by him, that the actual pathway was shown by Shri Man Mahaprabhu. That is actually Trinath Bhi Sunichwaaf. that at the time when an earth is there inside you that when aparad is there that that everyone who is at that when you are entangled in maya never tranade be bhav that shloka you cannot get manifested in that shloka and when tranade be sunij that shloka you are not at all getting manifested completely then to do hari bhajan how it is possible you tell me that tranade be sunij the actual uh, meaning of that shloka the inner the in, inner 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 meaning of that tranada uh, bis sunich shloka what is the meaning of that inner meaning of that shloka what is the inner meaning of that shloka what is the inner meaning of that shloka the actual meaning is that that bhakti no thakur also writing this maybe lot of uh, qualities are there but still that with your heart completely that vaishnav that is sarvottam he is topmost he is more than uh, bhagwan vaishnav uh, bhagwan himself speaking this point that vaishnav is topmost he is actually thinking himself that he is thinking himself as the lowest of uh, the blade of grass he is thinking himself lowest than the blade of grass but still the actual vichar if you can make then in actual vichar that he is not at all lowest he is the topmost of all in this infinity brahmand like krishna das kaviraj goswami is giving his introduction that this krishnadas kaviraj speak so we will actually we will think that krishnadas kaviraj go swami is like that only that definitely he is like this he is lowest no not at all we can't expect like that what we will think you tell me that the prabhupad used to speak that in bhajan that those who are going more and more up in the bhajan those who are getting more elevation in their bhajan they will become more and more tranade bhi bhav will get exhibited inside their heart it will get more sharpen those who will be elevated more and more their tranade bhi bhav will get more and more uh, sahaj it will become more and more sharpen and uh, deep prabhupad speaking in some other point that shrimati radharani under the anugatya of shrimati radharani that tranade bhi sunich bhav is natural this is not at all artificial at all this is not an artificial bhav at all this is natural that outside 
that all those bonded jivas of this they are speaking all those bonded jivas they are actually speaking and making this remark that propat speaking regarding them that all those materially bonded false egoistic persons of this materialistic bonded people they are speaking that are hey, maharaj those who are giving his own introduction like this about him why why we will discuss about him that his own introduction he is giving like this that i am the lowest that who is giving his own introduction that he is fallen soul then what what we will do by just uh, discussing him it's all useless that the, then prabhupad speaking that they are foolish number 1 they are not at all understanding are he is the topmost he just by his humble mood he is just speaking like this to about his introduction but the actual point if you can see the inner meaning that bhagwan want to just take in take them inside their heart and on to their head that this is the actual humble mood expressed by all those vaishnavas that if you will think that it is actually true what is speaking that is lowest then propa speaking that those who are more and more elevated in bhajan those who have gone more and more elevated in bhajan it means they are thinking themselves as the lowest of all but in actually if you can see is not at all fallen he is topmost like shila roop sanatan they are giving their introduction to us so we will think that this is actually true you can think that you will uh, think that that sanatan roop all actually are lowest lower lower than low, are lowest no this is actual rules of the vishnu he think himself as the lowest of all guru vishnu they are giving their introduction like this only you see the case of kulshekhar that same introduction he is giving to us like that so at this kind of introduction this vaishnavas are giving like this that the devotees they are the topmost worshipable object of bhagwan that uh, devotees are more worshipable than bhagwan not like this but also devotees are worshipable for all those and they are the topmost respectable and worshipable object for all the all the bonded jivas that's why this word actually this niche this word they are not at all using so niche very beautiful niche so niche means topmost very topmost humble mood is there very beautiful uh, humble mood is there they are thinking themselves as the lowest so niche not niche this word is your sunich here our target should be like that that she, on to the lotus feet of guru lotus feet of gurudev we can become the dust particle of the lotus feet of gurudev that should be our actual target that we are not at all gurudas we don't have this kind of uh, audacity we are the servant of the servant of the servant of our gurudev that we are the servant of the servant of servant of gurudev or dasar the servant of the servant of gurudev that kind of uh, transcendental ego that kind of bhav and false ego, uh, and the transcendental ego that is actually called trinadapi that actually is called is humble mood trinadapi the more and more trinadapi who is having if someone actually asking you that the most tranadapi apart from that nobody have this kind of tranadapi who is having that that tranadapi that tranadapi bhav the top most is on to the lotus feet of baldav ji maharaj and the second if you can take it on the other uh, point of view that top most tranadapi shrimati radharani her heart apart from that nobody tranadapi having that kind of tranadapi and if nobody will be having that kind of tranadapi at all jive diya and to have ruchi in no naam vaishnav seva these three points are the actual instructions of mahaprabhu to us that normal person they are thinking all those market people thinking that tranadapi means drama <laughs> external drama the normal person they are thinking they are all external drama that this is not kapat bhav tranadapi suniche they are speaking externally and inside their heart something else it's not like that it's not like that at all that inside their heart something is there and outside by their tongue they are speaking something different it's not like that ranadev bhavan is not like that at all antar bahire samavyavahar amani manudho antar 
that inside and outside what when all similar bhav is there same bhav is there no difference is there that tranadipi sunech that is not at all kapat bhav at all that they are externally something and they are inside their heart they are something else it's not like that this is not the definition of tranadipi bhav that tranadipi sunech the actual meaning what is that that the top most truth to have uh, uh, get adhikar in the kirtan that those who are having that tranadipi bhav definitely they can they can do they can get the actual uh, eligibility of hari kirtan they can get the actual eligibility to get hari kirtan only they, they will get the actual eligibility to get ruchi in hari naam that uh, that i am the actual sevak of hari naam this kind of uh, ego that pure ego that is actually called tranadapi to serve pure guru vaishnav to have that uh, ruchi towards naam this is this is actually one kind of gateway in the way of hari bhajan to have ruchi in hari naam in order to increase that ruchi in hari naam to increase ruchi in hari naam that guru vishnu seva is very much important that that ruchi should be there in pure guru vishnu seva service just by the service of pure guru vishnu seva that tranad vi sunij bhav can get expressed and manifested automatically and uh, just to stay in uh, close to a vaishnav that tranadipi sunij bhav to show that that is not at all required at all that to just show in front of vaishnav that kripa bhiksha all these things if you are in front of kapat people in kapat acharya or kapat maharaj if some kapat person is speaking maharaj and what like this this is also kapat and he is also kapat both are kapat so that is not tranadipi sunij bhav at all in the in the in the meeting of uh, all uh, the gidars wolves and jackals the actual camel the some function is going on of the wolves so then uh, wo- uh, that uh, camel is the main uh, is the camel is the camel is the main guest they are in the f- uh, assembly of all those jackals so by seva of pure guru vishnu of seva only that tranad bi sunij bhav can get manifested and in front of a vishnu of seva don't need to express that tranad bi bhav in front of them because pure guru vishnu can get automatically that tranad bi sunij bhav can get manifested don't need to show any kind of uh, uh, tranad bi sunij bhav here and there everywhere where and there in whatever condition and in any in some in, in place of anywhere or anyone that tranadipi sunich bhav is not at all uh, required to just show that this is the actual upadesh instructions of mahajans those who are actually pakhandi who are kapat and who are against guru vaishnav in front of ravan or in front of dang vipra if you are showing tranadipi sunich bhav vaishnav seva then it is not at all good to show that at all in front of all those demons that definitely it will not at all give the eligibility towards naam ruchi and uh, adhikar of uh, kirtan that definitely towards the jeevas we will get hinsa we we will not uh, be speaking about guru vaishnav katha and if those who are against guru vaishnav and hari kirtan that for those persons i won't be showing my tranad bibhav in front of them if i will show my tranad bibhav in front of those foolish people then that is not at all good at all that is not at all good at all that whatever kind of uh, then if you are showing then in that more and more jeev hansa that kind of uh, arop you will get that uh, jeev hansa i haven't stopped in i am and i haven't instructed him that so the aparad is here so it will come in jeev hansa so previously previous week in manasiksha shila ragunath das goswami virchit that shri manasiksha about that that third number shloka that third number shloka i have already started you all can understand that point i always all can remember that that third number shloka of shri manasiksha the shloka which i started with today the that is actual meaning of that is very much important in that
जनेशु विद्येशु शौर्य गुरु those that were busy in this uh, subtle and fine body of this body made of stool and stool and urine this sack we are actually getting this uh, i and mind bhav false ego is they are actually uh, pretending to have and all their wives children their friends everything they have that these are all mine my friends my relatives this kind of i and mind this false ego they are having all the time this kind of mind set up there and in whatever made of some sand stuff that kind of uh, ishwar uh, buddhi is there and where actually there is what are they are thinking that this is tirth but for bhagwat devotees they have the topmost hinsa they are not at all having any attachment with that bhagwat uh, bhagwat devotees that they are having don't no don't, don't have any kind of uh, guru vishnu of seva mood at all that is the top most dangerous thing jashya prabhu dehi kulapit rakhe shadhi kalpa dishu bhumani chadi jashya prabhu dehi kulapit rakhe shadhi kalpa dishu bhumani chadi jashya prabhu dehi kulapit rakhe shadhi kalpa dishu bhumani chadi jashya prabhu dehi kulapit rakhe shadhi kalpa dishu bhumani chadi jashya prabhu dehi kulapit rakhe shadhi kalpa dishu bhumani chadi jashya prabhu dehi kulapit rakhe shadhi kalpa dishu bhumani chadi jashya prabhu dehi kulapit rakhe shadhi kalpa dishu bhumani chadi गोको स्वामी पाद विरचित श्री मन शिक्षा दैट सेकंड नंबर श्लोका दैट आई हैव ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड द थर्ड नंबर श्लोका आई आई कैन नॉट कंप्लीट दैट सो आई विल बी स्टार्टिंग इट नाउ मे बी इफ दैट रकात्मिका भक्ति इट मीन्स दैट रकात्मिका भक्ति दैट ब्रजवासी जन है मीन्स दैट इन ब्रजवासी वॉट काइंड ऑफ ब्रजवासी रागात्मिक भक्ति वी कैन सी अंडर देयर अनुगत्य दैट रागनु भजन दैट काइंड ऑफ ग्रीडीनेस इज देयर टू डू इट मीन्स दैट रागात्मिक भक्ति दैट काइंड ऑफ ग्रीडीनेस यू आर एक्चुअली फीलिंग टू डू दैट रागात्मिक भक्ति अंडर द गाइडेंस ऑफ ब्रजवासीज एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट दैट श्री श्री राधा कृष्ण दैट टॉप मोस्ट मैनिफेस्टेशन ऑफ देयर लीला यू वॉन्ट टू गेट इन टू दैट दैट यू हैव दिस टारगेट इन साइड योर हार्ट that the om heart oh mind you just open your ears that birth after birth that you have to get the those dust particle of rupa ragunath and shila sanatan goswami pad that all the eternal parshad of mahapad mahaprabhu all the time you just need to remember and do don't what on to the lotus feet top most permanently you just need to think of them that's it so automatically you will get delivered shila bhakti mun thakur also writing in kirtan as well this all kirtan very nice beautiful kirtan written by shila bhakti no thakur and shila ragunath das go swami pad in this mana shiksha that is totally that is totally raganuga it means that for all those rupanuk devotees it is actually being written that is the top most point and permanent point ragatmik ragatmik bhakti is possible in brajavasis only and under their anugatya only it is possible to do this ra- raganuga bhajan that is actually called raganuga bhakti it is only possible under the guidance of brajavasis only and the prabhupada always used to speak a lot of time this point in front of uh, all those bonded jeevas that bhakti sadhan and siddhi have three stages one is sadhan bhakti one is bhav bhakti and one is prema bhakti that shila rup ko swami pad is me is just speaking one nice vichar in front of us
Srila Rupa Goswami Pad and his Bhakti Bhakti Samra Sindhu is making this vichar in front of us. Rupa Siddhanta. It means that at in the way in the pathway of getting prema, that Krishna prema in the way of that Krishna prema, lot of uh, lot of uh, elevation and depreciation will come, and lot of uh, testing is there. But still, after getting lot of testing, that in the pathway of spontaneous Krishna prema, that loads of uh, gradual proportional procedure are actually given. But still, having this gradual proportional procedures, that natural function, that naturally which we see that kind of uh, procedure, that definitely some, that the gra- promotional, it's not that promotional procedure will get, you will get uh, declination as well. But naturally, if you can see that promotional procedure, which is gradual in nature, that kind of gradual promotional procedure, what it is, one is Shraddha, after that sadhu sank after that bhajana kriya after that uh, anarthani priti after that nishtha after that ruchi after that asakti bhav then you can get prema So this kind of provision, promotional procedure we are actually making this which are first is Adav Shraddhya and after that that Sadhu Sangh you just that kind of uh, feeling you are getting to accept Sadhu Sangh and after that first is Shraddha then Sadhu Sangh to get Sadhu Sangh and Sadhu Sangh also two stages that Sadhu Sangh is also of two stages first is that in the starting that in the starting of a bhajan that sadhu sang is there and after that first first sadhu sang is at the starting of your bhajan that definitely it is important it is there and second sadhu sang is that just after taking the lotus feet of guru guru uh, lotus feet of guru dev that kind of uh, association you are doing with your guru dev so after getting sadhu sang that bhajana kriya that this is bhajana kriya not bhajan at all that under the guidance of Guru Vaishnava you need to do. And after that, when Anarthanivati is being done, then actual bhakti, that Nishta bhakti, it's not like just by kicking and leaving it, It's you will just uh, avoid that, that Nishta won't go at all. After Nishta, Ruchi will come, and that in natural attraction towards Krishna. And after Ruchi, that Asakti, that topmost Asakti, you cannot leave that at all. And after that, Bhav, and after that bhav, what is there? That prem will just get manifested. So, for all those sadhaks, this is the actual vichar which they need to follow all the time. That the sadhaks, in order to understand the sadhan procedure, that Vedya and Raganuga, there are two types of bhakti in sadhana bhakti. What actually being written here? That all those sadhaks, that at the time of doing sadhana, it is of two types. First is Vedi and second is uh, Raganuga, Rupanuga Bhakti. And when that ultimate result also you will get, that by doing Vedi Bhakti, what the result you will get, that Raganuga Bhakti, that result is totally different. So in the sadhaks, that at the time of sadhan, that uh, Raganuga, Rupanuga, there is some difference. It is of two types. Sadhan Bhakti is of two types. And the actual fruit and the result at the time of giving the actual result, it is also difference, having some difference from each other. Definitely some kind of fine difference, definitely there in between all these, between two, these two kinds of uh, practices, Vivedi Bhakti and Ra- Ru- Raganuga Bhakti. So, Srila Rupa Swami Pada also writing, When that by seeing the Shastras, 
the actual uh, uh, restrictions of the shastra when we started our bhajan by that in that in that rag is not at all getting developed in that rag is not getting developed that just by getting the rules and regulations of the shastras what imbibed in the shastras just following those rules and regulation uh, and accepting those rules and regulations of the shastras that is actually called by the bhakti and by not at all obeying in naturally that so much attraction is there for bhagwan and prema you are feeling that you are just uh, just crushing the vidhi and is going in front but in order to satisfy bhagwan that is actually called uh, raganuga bhakti rupanuga bhakti so this whatever be the case so this is one is actually vedi bhakti and one is raganuga bhakti that in that sadhan bhakti by your priti that priti is not you are not at all getting but uh, it is actually based on the rules and regulations of written in the shastras that sadhan bhakti that pravirti rag is actually missing that it it is not at all manifested that much that it is actually manifested mainly focused on uh, uh, sh- rules and regulations of the shastras that is actually called vedi bhakti that is actually called vedi bhakti that is actually called maryada mark the pathway of maryada it is but when inside your heart it's some some kind of attraction you are feeling for bhagwan when naturally inside your heart you are feeling attraction towards bhagwan it is going towards bhagwan that no kind of rules and regulation can stand in the way of that which are is not at all coming inside his mind and it's not coming in the way of his uh, bhajan then that is actually called raganuga bhakti that that she laru goswami pad has written what he has written here that is actually called raganuga so this raganuga bhakti if you are making this vichar completely then first actually ragatmika bhakti is actually being spoken and uh, that ragatmika bhakti under the anugati of ragatmika bhakti raganuga bhakti is possible raganuga bhajan is possible it means that prema moy trishna by that only that natural uh, deep that abhinivesh in deep in abhinivesh that is called a rag it is getting developed and that same bhakti that rag is actually produced that is called ragatmika bhakti rag ragatmika is of two types kam rupa and by that kama it is actually getting manifested that is actually a kam rupa and that uh, that previous uh, relationship we have got with bhagwan that is called samband rupa that ragatmikai that uh, all those brajavasis tesham bhava parilukto bhavet patrati karivan brajavasi that uh, in inside brajavasis if any one you uh, apart from all the brajavasis any kind of uh, seeing the seva of any brajavasi particular brajavasi and your heart is getting fixed on that then that is called the actual uh, anugatya of the brajavasi and that is called ragatmika bhakti to perform ragatmika bhakti under the guidance of those brajavasis that particular brajavasis on which your mind is getting fixed so understand the point and that in ist ist vastu that kind of top most in depth attraction is there for that ist vastu that with full enthusiastic mood and his all uh, senses are out of order where he is and where he is actually placed just the top most tanmayata is coming inside him and he is doing the bhajan of bhagwan with full attraction 
दैट एक्चुअली हेयर एक्चुअली इज कॉल्ड रागात्मिक उच्चते दैट इज एक्चुअल रागात्मिक भक्ति दैट काम रूपा संबंध रूप आई ऑलरेडी गिवन यू द डिस्टिंक्शन ऑफ दिस टू काइंड ऑफ भक्ति दैट शास्त्र युक्ति बाई नॉट देर इज नो पैथ वे ओपन बाई नॉट फॉलोइंग द शास्त्र बट स्टिल वन पैथ वे इज देयर दैट भगवान by just seeing this and just by hearing all this that bhagwan that bhav madurya vesh everything just getting attracted by this that topmost anand and his ears are actually becoming thirsty and they is becoming more greedy to do uh, hear about the glorification of bhagwan and devotees that greediness in order to increase that on just for the manifestation of greediness that is not at all necessary and important which thing that this greediness in order to manifest that that yukti or some kind of rules and regulation to get imbibed in that just by following that is not at all important why that's why actually it's been written that just for getting the greediness towards uh, if someone actually used to do drama for that gre- to get greediness that is not at all good to get lobha that greediness that is actually apraktra transcendental in nature it is not one kind of drama at all in this that shastra yukti vichar anushasan nothing can you can apply at all in this case just for greediness that uh, anushasan rules and regulations this kind of vichar is not at all necessary to get applied that in the sahajya samaj this vichar actually is going on very common vichar that they are inside that that gopi bhav manjri bhav actually that mantra they are getting and all actually foolish things it is just to get that mantra in that actually it is uh, given like this to them but they don't want to understand it at all that uh, how that raganu ka bhajan rupanu ka bhajan that it cannot be possible like that at all like this raganu ka raganu ka rupanu ka bhajan not at all possible to get performed at all like this what these sahajyas are following the procedure foolish procedure what to do that way the bhakti that uh, with from that ragun ragun bhakti is more prominent than way the bhakti that is the top most sure point that is the top most surety that this way the bhakti from that ragun ka bhakti is more and more top most there is no doubt about that at all there is no doubt at all about this but still that way the bhakti apart uh, above by the bhakti that above by the bhakti just to uh, take your eyes down that is not at all good that way the bhakti if you are going up that uh, the down vichar if you are making 
then it is the top most anyaya top most hinsa it is so this kind of by this kind of vichar then that you are actually thinking yourself as a top most sadhu this kind of false ego definitely will come artificiality of yourself thinking as a big sadhu this will come if you were thinking that i am at very a top most place and i am a very big sadhu this kind of false ego and just by hearing and uh, thinking like this this kind of uh, point if it is getting spreaded that i am a very big sadhu this is not at all good at all so just by having this kind of vichar that just by thinking you know, himself that i am a very big sadhu and by this it is not at all possible to do ragatmika bhajan that that by just getting the spontaneous bhav inside your heart up till that shastra vichar that yukti of the shastras you just need to take the ashray and you just need to control yourself according to the rules and regulation of the shastras up till when you are not at all getting onto the level of uh, r- ruchi because material for material things definitely your heart gonna go for that it means that you just need to uh, tell your mind and instruct your mind that you just need to come towards raganuga bhakchan so this is the actual symptom of uh, ragatmika bhakti shila rupa swami was telling that that lobe that greediness that artificial greediness cannot get manifested at all that greediness towards bhagwan is automatic that uh, someone actually speaking that we are feeling greediness but that kind of vichar is not at all good the greediness what you are getting towards uh, for bhagwan bhagwat bhajan in each and every condition what you are getting that is called uttama bhakti that is very much important whatever condition you are having that apart from vaidhi bhakti that just to uh, speak uh, just to think of having a very low bhav towards the vedi bhakti is not at all good at all initially when you are not at all at the level of raganuga bhajan vedi and raganuga bhajan that uh, uh, that uh, it is the actual pathway towards that prema bhakti ved vedi or maybe raganuga that both the types of bhakti in the way of that both bhakti that uh, all the sadaks that uh, that which are definitely they gonna build that automatically and this is natural to get that kind of uh, uh, which are narottam das thakur has written this and in chatanya chiritamrit also it is written that's why only ragatmika bhakti nishta all those brajvasis that kind of bhav in order to get that that those who have that greediness to attain that kind of bhava that they can get the adhikar actually eligibility for ragan raganuga bhakti that shrimad bhagavatam etc uh, shastra that bhav madhurya etc all the time you just need to Uh, have that remembrance and after that shastri yukti at that time just to after just accepting the shastri yukti that kind of shastri yukti to follow that is not at all necessary at that stage at all shrimad bhagavat etc all the shastras what actually is written about nandan yashoda all those are there brajvasis यशोदानंद दैट काइंड ऑफ मधुर्ज रस वात्सल्य रस दैट इज डेफिनेटली यू जस्ट नीड टू टेक दैट इन योर लाइफ एंड जस्ट बाई नॉट एट ऑल थिंकिंग अबाउट एनी काइंड ऑफ रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन इट इन द शास्त्रास दैट वॉट एवर काइंड ऑफ नेचुरल ग्रीडीनेस यू आर एक्चुअली अटेनिंग टू वर्ड्स वन पर्टिकुलर बजवास यू जस्ट नीड टू मेक श्योर दैट यू आर फॉलोइंग दैट दैट काइंड ऑफ ग्रीडीनेस दैट काइंड ऑफ विश डिजायर यू आर हैविंग टू फॉलो that in the starting that vaidhi bhakti shasan by that yukti it it you should not do at all that is actually not at all raganuga bhakti but maybe when inside your heart that attraction is there for prajvasi in order to just uh, understand that that shastra is very much important it that for to get greediness but in order to just uh, get spontaneous greediness what all to do when you already attained that topmost transcendental greediness after that the shastra yukti is not at all required 
rules and regulations imbibed in the shastra is not at all necessary to follow but still before that it is very much important to follow when you haven't got that natural attra- attraction like some kind of attraction is there that how maharaj i can get milk that someone speaking that you can take one cow he just uh, buy one cow and after getting the cow now the which are actually coming that uh, now that that the greediness has no kind of rules and regulations at all the attraction that lobha greediness it is not at all following any rules and regulations that i have greediness i am getting greediness towards that why you are getting that according to the shastras actually it is written it is natural and spontaneous your greediness bhav what you will get so the propad also in vaishnav ke in that verse the propad also writing this also that madhavendra puri is actually ma- manifesting his in the in the house of his bhava madhavendra puri is not at all stealing at all what the kind of house of bhav he is having inside him that madhavendra puri that kind of bhava in the house of bhav he has not at all stealing is not at all stealing anything there why because it that bhava is actually permanent and pure that is not at all artificial what actually is there that is actually uh, original it is not at all artificial what is there inside and what is outside is all the same in the case of madhavendra puri path to do the actual stealing in the house of bhava that is not uh, totally wrong what is there inside your heart just to steal the inside the house of the bhava it's strictly prohibited okay still if you will do some kind of theft in the house of bhava and it is not at all good if someone is actually stealing the bhava that uh, when he is not at all getting manifested in that particular bhava up till that no use of thefting that bhava so lob abhas just be careful on this point like naam abhas is there he is not at all uh, doing naam bas he is doing naam, naam abhas so that lob and similarly lob abhas is also there that greediness that loba is there lob and loba abhas is uh, not different from each other so lob abhas that uh, just by thinking it as loba that uh, the person thinking that he uh, is uh, raganuga then definitely he will get into the fallen condition so lob abhas that uh, the abhas of the loba like naam abhas is not at all naam that naam abhas is not at all name at all okay so that loba abhas that lob abhas that's there just by thinking it as loba that rupanuga bhajan that kind of adhikarik vichar this is that is not at all getting manifested at all that kind of siddha deh bhavna and uh, just to do seva of radha kund in the manas mentally that kind of instruction anything can be done that rupanug ko swami gan these kind of which are that which are cannot be there by the rupanug uh, go swami is at all they cannot give this kind of which are to us at all that rupanug go swami is there which are was that that if sahaji is actually speaking that is actually right that is not at all it is not at all the siddhant of rupanuga goswami is at all so loba bhas just to think it as lob if you mistakenly take that then that you are thinking loba bhas as lobha if that thinking is coming then it is very much dangerous so loba bhas just by thinking it as lobha if you are making this vichar and you are actually getting the actual adhikari of the i am doing a lot of rupanuga bhajan this is not at all good at all this is totally absurd so loba bhas just by thinking it as lobha and just thinking uh, uh, that you are getting entry into Ra- raganuga rupanuga bhajan the on your own strength by doing this by your own strength and by your own false ego that just having the thinking of your siddha deha and just by mentally just by doing the radha on the bank of radha kund you are doing bhajan so but goswami are not at all speaking this at all 
if some das goes why some other sahajya must have done but this uh, the this is not the actual vichar of the rupanuga raganuga devotees at all some sahajya can make this kind of vichar but for the but in this material world but in this material world that stool that this uh, this from body made of five elements external body that sack of stool and blood this uh, that our subtle body by both subtle and fine body that aprakrit vastu that transcend- transcendental object we cannot observe at all in this material world that this uh, body uh, fine body and subtle body that uh, to do the uh, seva of the transcendental aprakrit object you cannot uh, serve him at all that aprakrit vastu for aprakrit vishe only you can uh, serve by only getting on to that platform so by that uh, transcendental body by getting that only then only it's possible to serve that transcendental object in this context the prabhupad bhakti jan saraswati goswami thakur prabhupad speaking himself the prabhupad speaking Shri Krishna Seva is the actual work of transcendental body. Shri Krishna Seva that is actually the work of the transcendental body that is not at all done by the material body at all. This is not at all done by material body. Krishna Seva is the actual work of uh, transcendental body, but when you are just uh, uh, manifesting this point or just by mentally concocted idea that you are actually making this which are of uh, serving krishna in transcendental uh, realm it's not at all possible and to do just by mentally concocted idea to serve uh, radha krishna that is not at all possible on the transcendental plane when a transcendental body that a transcendental object can be uh, served that is the actual uh, op- instructions given by the rupanuga goswamis when we can see the transcendent with the transcendental body the transcendental object is being served then only uh, when you go up forward then some kind of reaction of uh, uh, raganuga rupanuga effect can come inside your heart you understand the point what i'm speaking when transcendental body that by a transcendental mind and heart that your transcendental body and you are serving the transcendental object then only some kind of uh, transcendental effect uh, comes uh, and uh, on the external body some kind of transcendental reaction you can see on the transcendental body just as a symptom that in gita also bhagwan actually speaking otherwise by the money power man power by education power by lok bal that uh, the transcendental vishay that transcendental vishay of the transcendental realm cannot get uh, uh, inside our mind at, at all you understand the point so vedi bhakti the actual eligibility of of vedi bhakti of the raganuga bhakti is is different and after that it's been spoken that just by remembering krishna and just by just remembering krishna while remembering krishna just by doing remembering krishna and after that after that own parshad of krishna where krishna is actually taking seva from them and krishna all the time having a playing mood with them is the, the parshad of krishna that our own heart and mind with our own heart and mind that bhavna is there that should get uh, some special brajavas some braj special brajvasi we are actually liking his particular bhav and we are getting manifested in his particular bhav of that particular brajvasi under his guidance only then only possible for us to do krishna seva that remembrance and shravan is uh, should be there according to that under the guidance of that brajvasi 
in the shastri yukti in that shastri yukti is not at all applicable in this condition when we are doing bhajan under the guidance of some brajavasi particular brajavasi Raghunath Das Goswami was speaking this point all the time Roop Raghunath that Jeev Goswami Sanatan Goswami you just need to call them with the, uh, just uh, loudly speak their name and call them very nice kirtan is there actually regarding this Very nice kirtan it is. If uh, you want Rupanuga Bhajan, all the time you just need to loudly uh, cry out and speak the name of the Goswamis. And after that it is being spoken that you just need to remember Krishna. and all the eternal parsha that is the brajavasis you just need to remember their instructions and on what you are actually liking of a particular brajavasi bhava that particular brajavasi that my heart actually is getting attracted for for a long time i am getting attraction like uh, lalita like vishaka i am actually getting the bhav towards uh, krishna may vinanda baba shoda mama jay shri dam sudam vasudam madumangal any kind of seva that is actually i am liking and getting attracted that uh, some particular prajwasi we under the anugatya of that we just need to follow that's why it is spoken that by your own heart that kind of uh, desire is actually getting a compa- similar to that of that particular brajavasi under his guidance only you just need to do the seva that same brajavasi by doing the seva and katha of that to his glorification you not just need to get guided by that particular brajavasi in krishna seva that you just need to do that that just by remembering krishna and those or eternal parshad of krishna of the pasam particular brajavasi which krishna is taking seva that kind of vichar you just need to take that bhava inside your heart and just need to serve him accordingly and after that what actually spoken that seva and sadak swarup and in the siddh stage siddh rupena chaprahi tad bhav lipshuna karya prajuloka anusarata prajuloka anusaran mein that under the anusaran of brajavasis that same lobha you just need to take and just need to serve krishna it means that external body by that sadak swarup you just need to serve and another is siddh swarup all the time mentally what bhakti no thakur actually is speaking all the time non stop harina when you are doing under the guidance of some particular brajavasi you are mentally uh, serving uh, Bra- uh, radha krishna in brajadham whatever kind of wish is actually getting inside your heart it getting manifested inside your heart that is actually called that is actually called you understand the point that is called raganuga bhajan that just by doing hari naam slowly steadily that uh, in the s- life of that sadak that very in depth which are all bhavna is getting manifested inside his heart all this kind of wish is getting uh, imbibed or manifested inside the heart of that sadak that special person is getting that transcendental bhavna inside his heart automatically and that transcendental bhavna when it's getting manifested it's very good but uh, forcefully it is not at all good that at the time of doing harina may be sl- with full nishta and prema that whatever kind of wish special is actually getting uh, self manifested inside his heart that that is the actual uh, 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 pariche of his swarup that is actual introduction to his swarup forcefully is not so possible 
lot of people are there they are taking very uh, top most uh, austerity and penances externally but they are actually not at all following it uh, internally and uh, just after anartha nivrati the propad speaking one point that after getting out of anartha nivrati that swarup is actually getting manifested after anartha nivrati and uh, when the swarup is getting manifested that nitya pratiti if that uh, swarup is getting manifested that automatically that when the swarup is getting manifested then automatically that nitya pratiti automatically it can give you that uh, nitya uh, transcendental mangal to you so this is the actual uh, uh, you cannot show to anyone if someone speaking that in rao rupanu bhajan i can just teach you he is number 1 cheater rupanu bhajan can't be taught to anyone this is spontaneous and natural that after getting out of anartha nivrati that swarup is getting manifested and when the swarup is getting manifested when the swarup is getting manifested that vichar is the first and foremost that uh, swarup vichar that nitya pratiti automatically will get inculcated and get manifested inside the heart of the sadak that when anartha nivrati is there inside the heart of the sadak then any one forcefully cannot get uh, when anarthani vritti is there inside the heart of a sadha that swarup can't get uh, can get can't get manifested but if you are getting out of anarthani vritti then that uh, swarup is getting manifested this with forceful mood that kapat person can't get manifested in his own swarup because this is uh, natural and spontaneous in nature so with full nishkapat bhav that you just need to think very unhappy with full humble mood you just need to think yourself as the lowest of all and just by doing hari naam all the time slowly steadily that whatever kind of wish you can get that under the guidance of pure guru vaishnav and paramans guru vaishnav you just need to take their shelter by their guidance only that what you have got up till now you just need to get have to uh, get uh, it uh, done by the help of guru vaishnav only you just need to get it signed by pure guru vaishnav so just by speaking that gurudev i have just uh, got out this from this varub so then if the gurudev is giving confirmation then that is actually the topmost uh, confirmation or the signing given by pure guru vaishnav so prabhupad actually speaking about this that all kind of wishes dharna when going out of your mind and heart then only by when the approval of pure guru vaishnav is coming in that then only it is actually being confirmed by uh, bhagwan himself so bhakti mo thakur also speaking in jab dharma there are 11 types of vichar in this that 11 types of this uh, Eleven types of vichar is there. That your husband name, that whatever which place is he is living, which village, which color of dress he is wearing, what is, everything is being mentioned. The Prabhupada speaking. That all the sahajiyas, they are actually in order to understand. They are not at all understanding all these points. They are just taking their false pariche. and they are actually just uh, wandering in this material world and uh, all kind of this rubbish things that uh, on a non eligible sadak they are actually putting that kind of false swarup on to them which is not at all which is strictly prohibited and not at all good at all those persons who have got swarup siddhi in their life that those persons who have got swarup siddhi in their life that uh, that whatever kind of introduction rega- regarding his swarup that uh, sat sid swarup is already getting manifested inside her forcefully it can't be there at all it is not at all good to forcefully speak uh, or artificially giving him his swarup so whatever kind of vichar we are making up till now regarding the swarup of the jiva सेवा साधु को रूप में और सिद्ध रूप में छत्र है सुख 
सेवा इज ऑफ टू टाइप्स इट इज ऑफ टू टाइप्स वन इज बाय एक्सटर्नल बॉडी यू आर टेकिंग एंड द अदर वन इज फ्रॉम इन साइड योर बॉडी वॉट यू आर थिंकिंग बोथ इट इज नॉट ऑल द सेम बोथ ऑफ दैम एक्सटर्नल एंड इंटरनल सो दैट्स वाई एक्चुअली इज बींग स्पोकन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ सेवक एंड साधक ही जस्ट नीड टू डू द भजन एंड द अदर वन इज सिद्ध रूपेन दैट अंडर द अनुगत्य ऑफ ब्रजवास इज दैट रसमय भजन इज एक्चुअली यू हैव टू डू दैट अंडर दियर गाइडेंस दैट सेम लोभा वेन इट इज गोइंग फॉरवर्ड दैट स्लोली स्टडली दैट अंडर द अंडर गाइडेंस ऑफ दिस विश पर्टिकुलर ब्रजवासी इफ यू विल डू देन इट इज एक्चुअली ओके देन यू आर एलिजिबल टू डू राव राग अनुगा भजन देन ओनली दैट लोभा विल एग्जिस्ट so by this he just need to go forward it means that only raganuga rupanuga bhajan only and only raga ragatmika bhakti nishth under the guidance of brajwasi particular brajwasi that kind of bhav when is gatily manifested and that lobe your greediness you are feeling towards that particular brajwasi then only they are eligible to get raganuga भजन बट इट इज टू गेट एलिजिबिलिटी इज अ वेरी फार डिस्टेंट थिंग दैट इन भागवत एट सेक्टर ऑल द शास्त्र दैट यशोमती मैया अंडर द गाइडेंस ऑफ हर दैट हाउ टू सर भगवान दैट मधुर्य भाव एट सेक्ट्रा जस्ट बाई रिमेंबरिंग दैट अकॉर्डिंग टू द शास्त्र युक्ति इज नॉट एट ऑल रिक्वायर्ड फॉर दैट एट ऑल देन इन ऑर्डर टू गेट दैट लोभा टॉप मोस्ट लोभा यू आर एक्चुअली गेटिंग टू गेट द satisfaction and to do krishna seva that automatically that rati is actually getting manifested if rati is not at all getting manifested if rati is not at all getting manifested up till that point nobody can that nobody can get uh, uh, eligibility in bhagavad bhajan when rati is not getting manifested that vaidhi bhakti you can't uh, uh, throw that away when rati is not at all getting manifested then everything is there in vedi bhakti up till that point you understand the point what i'm speaking why because in vedi bhakti that shastra yukti some rules and regulations are there in order to control yourself is very much important it's written in the uh, vedi bhakti and bhagwan shri krishna and uh, their own eternal parshad that uh, very in a uh, close eternal parshad if someone actually we are actually just liking the seva of krishna under the guidance of some brajwasi so that kind of uh, anugatya we have to do if you are doing the anugatya of madhumangal then all the kind of seva of madhumangal we just need to hear what actually madhumangal thinking and what he is speaking to bhagwan at that time and what actually all the friends are actually making problem to him so all this kind of uh, leela you just need to hear regarding madhumangal by just uh, following the anugatya by doing the anugatya of madhumangal you just need to do krishna seva so by just following that vichar all the time that you just need to stay in braj bhumi all the time if physically is not at all possible then mentally you just need to do that so like this when you move forward we just need to move forward and uh, in the sadhak stage inside that uh, internal body that sahajyas they this vishay is not at all for sahajyas at all because they are actually having that mentally concocted swarup inside their mind and they are doing their bhajan but it's not at all possible like that that uh, that uh, that uh, krishna and krishna eternal parshad some seva we are actually liking like the case of madhumangal his seva we are actually liking and the topics of madhumangal that where the seva of madhumangal is oriented just to just give anand to krishna all actually actually we are liking it and uh, he is actually sitting uh, madhumangal etc all actually are sitting there with krishna in the 
uh, to do uh, some uh, to have some lunch there and taking prasadam with Krishna and uh, his and the friends of Madhu Mangal is uh, actually started crying because all the friends are actually disturbing him all the time and uh, Madhu Mangal started crying so this is the actual vichar all the time you ju- this should be going go should this should go inside your mind all the time all this Krishna Leela that is Krishna Prishta Bhav and the eternal parshad related to Krishna, that kind of loba you are feeling for that particular Brajavasi and by this body only which is material as of now that just by remembering the Krishna Leela under the guidance of some eternal parshad automatically by doing Krishna Seva your body will get transcendental in nature and that kind of Krishna's Brajasta that uh, eternal parshad close by Sevak you just need to do Anusaran you don't need to do anukaran don't imitate them but you just need to follow their pathway you have to do anusaran of those particular brajavasis that in vedi bhakti shravan kirtan etc all actually you have to do under the guidance of some particular brajavasi that all those bhakti ang of vedi bhakti he just need to do that and automatically in Raganuga Bhakti all see these these Seva Angs are there, limbs of Seva is there. It's not that what's there in Vedi Bhakti, the limbs are there. It's not there in Raganuga, it's not like that. That Raganuga Bhajan, that definitely some kind of difference is there. And uh, that some which is special vichar will definitely come when you will be doing Raganuga Bhakti. In the sadhan stage, after, when you are getting up, then it is going towards the bhav stage, stage of bhava, and after the stage of bhava, you will attain the prem stage. This Mahaprabhu already has uh, already speaking this vichar of Rupa Goswami Pad in front of us. So, lots, lots of vichar are there. So, Srila Raghunath Das Goswami Pad, he is actually speaking here. Srila Raghunath Das Goswami Pad, he is speaking. Shri 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 Rup Shri Sanatan Ho oh, Jeev Goswami Pad All the time loudly you have to cry their name out Oh please save me Oh Rup Oh Sanatan Oh Jeev Goswami Pad you, All the time you need to cry out And just take their help That just by transcendental prema Nitya Prem that if you are doing the worship and aradhana of Bhagwan, then only it is possible to worship Bhagwan under their guidance. First, I have already told you that Raganuga Bhakti is of two types. One is Samandanuga. I have already told you about Samandanuga. That one is Kamrupa and Samandrupa. That Kamrupa is that in that that transcendental Kama will definitely get uh, manifested inside him that by transcendental karma he is getting um, uh, targeted by that and automatically that Sambandhanuga means that Sambandh is already getting manifested inside him with Krishna Seva like Rukmani, Satyabhama, Jamvati these all are actually heavy that these are Sambandhanuga Bhakti they come under the category of Sambandhanuga Bhakti that is also doing Madhur Prem Rasa, the exchanging with Bhagwan. But that kind of Madhuras which they are exchanging with Bhagwan, that is that is Sambandhanuga, that their relationship with Bhagwan, like Nand Baba Yashoda Maya, etc. But uh, others, there is no reason why they are actually feeling uh, lobha and attraction towards Krishna. There is no reason for the attraction towards Krishna at all. Srimati Radharani that uh, that which are of Srimati Radharani I don't want to speak here but still I'll be just touching one to two points so that you can understand it uh, in brief what I want to speak here in Chaitanya Chiritamrita actually it is written 
that Rai, Rai Mahashe and Mahaprabhu, they were discussing with each other and this discussion is going on and in that discussion it is coming that uh, both of them, Krishna and Srimati Radhanani, in both of them, they, there is no agent is there that you just uh, give me that prema towards Krishna, there is no agent. Automatically this is spontaneous in both in both of them. When Bhagwan that the Vamsidhvani when the Bhagwan Shri Krishna Vamsidhvani Radharani is hearing, then Radharani is becoming mad by hearing the flute of Krishna. Vamsidhvani of Krishna. If someone actually just speaking the name of Krishna and doing the Kirtan of Krishna at that time also just by hearing the name of Krishna, he is getting mad. She is getting mad. And inside the heart, it is getting manifested. And just uh, is getting them mad. It is just making them mad. Transcendental madness is coming just by hearing the name of Krishna. And uh, above of this, a lot of vichari is there. Rati. First, I have already told you, na. Sadhu Sangh is of two types. One is after before getting the Guru Charan Ashray, and the second one is after taking the lotus feet of Guru Charan. Chapter of the lotus of Guru lotus feet of Guru Charan. Okay, so and now this this great this which are will go slowly steadily will go forward up till that prema we just need to speak that in this material world that up till prem only we can go up to that stage that in our present bodily condition only that at present condition in our material body we can go up till prema and after that sneha man rag anurag mahabhav these are actually so much uh, far distant things for us they are very far distant for us up till now this is not the present condition we can attain at all up till uh, this present material body we can attain prema in this material world that within, the, within this material frame up to prema we can just achieve not before that at all that with this present material body after leaving this present material body when by the help of yoga maya that kind of uh, situation or condition is given to you that under the guidance of those aprakrit brajavasis that uh, Manjari Sakhi is under their guidance, you will uh, come under them. That will be a totally different thing. So, pr- after Prema is Sneha, Maan, Rag, Anurag, Bhav, uh, Maha, 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 all this will come. Maha, Bhav, Bhav, it's already o- only possible in Brajadham, not anywhere else apart from that. I'll give you one example here. That Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami Pad is speaking one nice example. Like there is one sugar cane, you know, no? That sugar cane is there. That sugar cane, it means that sugar cane, that from there it is actually getting fermented and getting into some rasa. And after that, it is getting more and more fermented by the process. And uh, Sita fall is Mishri, and which is very much expensive. That Sita fall is very expensive, so it is getting out of that sugar cane only when it is being processed more and more in fine form. So that Prem Vilas, that Prem Vilas, that kind of that up till Prem we can go, and from there, Sneha Man Prane Ma Anubhav, this Prem Vilas circle. This is also of six kinds. That all those Dipasurigan, 
all those Sivya Surikan, the Divya Suris, that their Vichar is very topmost in nature. That all those Divya Suris, all the Divya Suris, they have a very topmost Vichar. That according to their Vichar, that uh, for each and every one, just by giving them Prem Nam, everything is getting finished. But still there is a lot of difference in that. Someone, some, nobody wants to go in deep in all these kind of meanings. That Divya Surigan, that by the Prem Nam that they have just given them and finishing everything material inside them. That those who have whatever kind of Prema is actually manifested towards Krishna, Seva or Krishna, then that same Preeti will just get reflected in his Swarup. You understand the point? Bhagavan himself is speaking in Gita also. Those who will be loving me according to that degree, only I will be just paying them. But Brajavasis, in front of them, I can't pay them at all. In front of Brajavasis, Bhagavan actually just... Uh, uh, getting his hands up and speaking. So, for Krishna, according to that particular prema, that same preeti towards Krishna will get reflected in the swarup of that jiva and tat, called by the tatkalik shakti and by the, the secret vichar, according to the secret vichar, in-depth vichar, if you make that, that topmost uh, uh, prema that in other sampradaya it is not at all available at all if it is there it is just one kind of touch in other sampradaya like in nibarg sampradaya they are actually speaking that they are pushti mark and uh, other sampradaya they are actually not at all covering it at all but it is there but still it is uh, equivalent to n- nothing it is not at all there so the actual secret vichar is that the topmost prem ras that in other sampradaya that prem rasa is actually missing if it is there also but still it is just one kind of touch is there of that prem bhav that's why shri das goswami pad and he was the actual kripa patra of mahaprabhu that swarup damodar goswami is uh, uh, is taking shelter as a Siksha Guru or Swarup Goswami, Goswami, Srila Swarup Damodar Goswami as Siksha Guru and that genuine greediness is there and he is getting the instruction and he, that same instructions are given by Swarup Goswami to Raghunath Das Goswami Pad. So whatever be the case, Shila Raghunath Das Goswami Pad is actually thinking Sarup Tamodar Goswami as his Siksha Guru and uh, Raghunath Goswami Pad is actually thinking whether Yadunandana Acharya is the actual uh, Kul Guru of uh, who is the actual disciple of Dvayat Goswami is the Kul Guru of Raghunath Das Goswami Pad but Siksha Guru can be there especially Mahaprabhu himself especially Mahaprabhu himself to Raghunath Das Goswami he is giving special instruction and he is giving in the hands of Swarup Goswami and when you will go ahead his name is Swarupe Raghu why? Because uh, Mahaprabhu has given, handed uh, over Raghunath Das Goswami to Swarup Gosai. So that's why the name is actually Swarupe Raghu. That Swarupe Raghu, that uh, who is the, he's, uh, that Raghunath Das Goswami is of Swarup Gosai. So definitely that to Swarupadi Mahade, that he is actually accepting him as his Siksha Guru, Raghunath Das Goswami Pad. And that under his anugatya that by giving them that in topmost instruction in order to deliver him that birth after birth to just to get prema and to get raganuga bhakti birth after birth 
this kind of this kind of uh, there were actually it's written janma janma this word that birth after birth that prem lakshana ragatmika bhakti is of lot of types that uh, lot of births birth after birth the birth and death birth and that you are taking maybe after some birth you can get that just by the kripa of pure guru vaishnav only it will get getting the top most siddhi in your life and that it's already written by shila bhakti no thakur in his kirtan as well loads of kirtan it's already written up till this point So all this kind of which are it's already written in the form of kirtan and manasiksha this bhashya that commentary it's written Shila Sachidan Bhaktinoda Thakur has given one commentary on to that Shila Sachidan Bhaktinoda Thakur that already one commentary is given by that on Shri Manasiksha so that in a very fine and uh, uh, easy form we can just understand what is actually Raga Runga Rupa Nuka Bhajan and it's in the form of kirtan actually it is written here very nice kirtan it is each and every each and every each and every shloka shila bhakti no thakur has given nice analysis and by doing that kirtan he is giving an in depth vichar of each and every word of the kirtan very nicely it is there the bhakti on thakur has written in kirtan that the actual bhashya of uh, shri mana sikha that just by taking the binivesh of raganuga bhajan that if brajavas is you have your heart desire and you have that efforts to put for uh, to stay in brajadham to do raganuga bhajan if inside your heart that kind of topmost secret bhav if it's definitely there that if is actually that bhav is there inside your heart to raganu ka roopano ka bhajan if it is there then what you need to do Oh my heart oh my mind that if your heart desire is like that then i am speaking to you you just hear it very carefully what actually being spoken here
that my oh my mind you hear very carefully what actually i'm speaking you just hear it carefully that in bhajan i am very much uh, i am very much clever in bhajan जीव को समय पर ऑल दोज गन दैट इज बिग ब्रदर ऑफ रूप गोस्वामी पाद सनातन गोस्वामी पाद अपार्ट फ्रॉम हिम नो बडी इज देयर टॉप मोस्ट देन हिम दैट काइंड ऑफ ईच एंड एवरी प्लेस जस्ट बाय टेकिंग द कृपा ऑफ महाप्रभु द एक्चुअल ग्लोरिफिकेशन ऑफ युगल सरकार इट इज वेरी मच सरप्राइजिंग एंड टॉप मोस्ट दैट महाप्रभु हिमसेल गिवन हिम द चार्ज दैट महाप्रभु ऑल्सो स्पीकिंग हिमसेल दैट रस तत्व in order to who is actually eligible to this uh, digest that rasa tatva that's why i have given to him and you are that you also swarup ka swarup ko sai is actually speaking that special uh, rasa you just need to give it to him because he is the actual idol patra he speaking to ragunath das ko swami pat that it is the actual idol patra you can give it that rasa to him he is speaking to swarup da mother ko sai रिगार्डिंग रघुनाथ दास को स्वामी पाद सो ऑल दीज थिंग्स that with all the all the eternal parshad along with them shagana sirup jini rasatatta gyan mani lila tatto je koi prakash hai rup goswami that same rup goswami body and his uh, big brother rup goswami that his big brother is sanatan goswami pad that his big brother sanatan goswami pad that this which are actually is being spoken tahar vapruj bhai jahar saman nai purilo je jugal vilas je jugal vilas that jugal vilas what actually being uh, spoken here that all the time we just need to remember that and we just need to glorify that all the time Bhaktin Aur Thakur Ji, he is actually glorifying them in his uh, bhasha and each and every shloka. His very nice kirtan written by Bhaktin Aur Thakur. Tomorrow we will be making this vichar onto this very nice vichar. Is there of this kirtan what Bhaktin Aur Thakur has written?
And after that, that in the fourth number shloka of Sri Manasikha, that what Raghunath Goswami Pad is actually making us cautious and careful. He is making us attentive because Srila Prabhupada is speaking that bhajan, any kind of stage, we can fall down from any stage of bhajan. So the false ego definitely there is no there is no pathway to get rid of ahankar at all. So with full careful uh, attitude, with full attention, it is actually being spoken by Raghunath Das Goswami Pad in his fourth shloka. Then after that, just actually we are actually getting careful and attentive here that those who are asadvarta, it is actually equivalent to prostitute. That asadvarta is actually compared with a prostitute. This in the way of our bhajan, all kind of vitamin mineral will take away. Nothing will stay at all inside us. Asadvarta, that Raghunath Das Goswami Pad Mahaprabhu Ji actually speaking to him. Only one thing. What actually written here that this Bhashya I will be speaking today in this actually it is being spoken that oh my heart oh my mind oh my mind you just uh, understand me are yaar you s- oh my friend you just hear me oh my mind you hear that uh, all every kind of everything you are actually taking it away maybe you are taking it away asatvarta will take everything that people are t- taking so much anand in this in din vishay varta they are getting utkarna they are getting so much happy oh you speak more 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 like this that what mahaprabhu is speaking to swarup goswami actually is not at all uh, speaking uh, any kind of song or kirtan in front of mahaprabhu and uh, he is mahaprabhu is speaking oh you please start start it again i am i am very thirsty i am going to hear why you actually stopped it is just nectar you just go on speaking why you stopped Mahaprabhu speaking to you, Sura Gunna, Sarup Da, Sarup Gosai. Sarup Gosai. Mahaprabhu speaking to Sarup Gosai. That uh, my ears are actually getting thirsty to hear this nectar. Then the material people, that kind of talking, it is we are finding it very much uh, nice and perfection in that. But it is just one like of poison for us. We are actually thinking it's very good. That even four years boy. is actually taking mobile and he is just moving the mobile here and there so from birth only that four years boy that is actually uh, asat sang is actually going asat varta is going on so what to do in that so the actual meaning of this shloka i'll be just um, uh, making a very small discussion tomorrow i'll be giving the analytical discussion so this mind and heart in bhagavatam our mind is actually compared with sati asati it means then satiman and asatiman 
that tomorrow we will be discussing it that oh my heart that uh, because of the unconscious state of our atma you just need to throw it away from your heart so that you can get your consciousness back that the with that uh, onto the lotus feet of narayan also if you are getting rati then that kind of rasa of braj bhumi is not at all possible to get it is impossible to get that braj ras up till this point we will be actually giving rest just forgive me for that and tomorrow i will be discussing a lot of things regarding this so जनेशुरा